with 9mm and I got a great product to show you today. This is something I'm very, very excited about. I'm so happy to, to review this knife. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, <laughs> I'm, I'm just ecstatic about it because this is going to show, I'm going to show you one of the best bushcraft knives on the market today. Uh, in fact, myself, I have a lot of bushcraft knives and the one I'm going to show you today is number one of my entire collection and believe me my collection is very very large um, this is made by Topps Knives it is called the B.O.B. or the also known as uh, the Brothers of Bushcraft Knife um, the Brothers of Bushcraft Knife is a fantastic knife it is uh, a catalog number uh, B.O.B-01 Brothers of Bushcraft and as you can see right now it is in a kydex sheath and it has that famous uh, metal uh, belt clip that is, uh, that's been made famous by Topps Knives and if you're not familiar with Topps Knives you need to get familiar with Topps Knives because that is probably uh, the number one production knife company in the world as far as quality and uh, making excellent designs. They have just an enormous catalog of all sorts of knives. I've done other other uh, Topps knives before on this channel and they always get a big high score because I just love them. Um, so let's get into the knife a little bit. This is, a, by the way, just to finish up with the with the sheath. This is Kydex. It's really nice. Uh, has a um, a fire starter sheath that's built into it. Uh, it is removable. It has a couple uh, Chicago screws here and here. Hopefully, you can see that with my poor lighting. And those can be removed. This is the top survival whistle that's uh, that's uh, connected to the fire starter. And we'll talk a little bit about this in just a second. But let's get to the knife. This is the B.O.B., the Brothers of Bushcraft, uh, Bushcrafting Knife, and it is, it is fantastic. It has all of the elements uh, that I desire in a Bushcraft Knife. There's a couple things that are absolutely mandatory that you have to have, but they go beyond that. The number one thing that I really need and I desire and I, that really is mandatory in a Bushcraft Knife is this Scandi Grind. The Scandi grind is extremely important, and the reason why is because it doesn't have like this little beveled edge on the bottom. This is this is just really uh, is a steep angle down into the into the sharp edge, and this makes it possible for you to sharpen this yourself in the field. It's absolutely necessary. You must have a Scandi grind for to to make an excellent bushcrafting knife. The other thing I really like about a bushcrafting knife is a standard straight, uh, a slightly dropped uh, drop point with a deep belly. And the reason for that is because that gives you a lot of strength when you're really cutting on wood or you're making um, any kind of traps at all, any kind of fall traps, or if you're if you're shaving. Or the other thing is is it gives you a good thick um, a good thick spine. So if you are batoning. It really gives you a lot of strength as well. So that straight blade, if you have a lot of strange curves or so forth, it'll interfere with all of those things I just talked about. So the straight, that straight uh, blade with just a slight drop and a deep belly in the curve, that's essential, and you got to have that. The other thing is I like just a moderate amount of finger guard, and the reason why is because you really might be digging in here, doing something, digging through a log, making a a container or something, and you really don't want your fingers to slide across that blade because you know when you're in the field it's really hard to get to the doctor, if at all. And those are really what I like a lot. The other one is a good comfortable handle, so if you do a lot of batoning that you your hand is not going to get sore because when you hit the back of the spine with a piece of wood to baton, to split wood with this, you are that energy is transferred right here, right here into your hand because you see you're hitting down as well. It's not only going into the log, but it's being pounded down into this hand as, as well. And it makes it very, very uncomfortable if you're not, if you're not, uh, if you don't have a good, a good, nice, smooth grip. I also don't like a lot of, uh, like a finger grooves. I like this to be able to move this back and forth because I might have to use it like this. I might have to use it like this. I want to be able to have that luxury to be able to move my hand back and forth. This has to be comfortable. Scandi grind. 
a good, good thick spine. The spine is incredibly thick. It's a 3 16 modified um, thick uh, blade here. And uh, by the way, this is 1095 high carbon steel, which is also essential. And the reason for that I'll discuss. One is it's easier, it's easier to uh, to sharpen myself. I don't need a lot of fancy equipment or whatever. I can sharpen it in a rock or whatever. Now let's talk about the extras in this. Now that we've gotten past the mandatory stuff, uh, the extras to this are fantastic. One is you see this little little concave area. That concave area is so you can turn this knife over, and you can use that that area right there for your a spindle if you're using a fire bow. Because the one of the hard tough things I've found is when you're out in the field and you've and you've got yourself a spindle. You can find the spindle, you can find the bow, you can find uh, the fireboard, but finding that that uh, that uh, a rock with an indentation in it or something to handhold on top of that, so that spindle will turn, is really kind of hard. So in a pinch, you can use this, and one on each side as well. So it's very nice. So that helps you build fire. You wouldn't think a little indent like that would, but I'll tell you what, that's fantastic. To to, to be able to build fire if you're using a fire bow. The last thing I want to show you too is this little cutout here and you see it's kind of shiny. See that? That little cutout gives you a little sharp edge and the reason for that, and I'll show you, see that? The reason for that is to, to spark your sparker. To use your ferro rod on it, you can spark with that without using the back edge of this, and eventually kind of makes the knife kind of crummy and and can chip off some of that uh, that really nice uh, that really nice parkerized coating that's on this as well. You can actually use this, so it's right there for you, and it's a much better angle in my mind just to be able just to take it and boom, just like that, fantastic. Love this knife. I'm going to rate this as probably one of the top, the top uh, bushcraft knives in the world. I will say that right now, as far as production knives go, this is probably, if not in the top, the top, the number one bushcraft knife in the world. And uh, I'm going to give it an A double plus. I highly recommend it. if you do any kind of bushcrafting, you do any kind of survival skills or whatever in the woods, this is the knife to get. It's the B.O.B. by Tops Knives. I think you'll love it. Take care. Bye-bye.